Right, <coughs> number 118 from the MathCamp workbook. Slightly different one involving fractions, still a summation formula, which means there'll be lots of factorising to find somewhere. First bit, same as before. Show that it is in fact true when n equals 1. Well, the left hand side as a fraction this time would just be the first term, r would be 1. So it'd be 1 times 1 more is 2, times 2 more is 3. So that's a sixth. The right hand side, the only way of calculation here, when n is 1, that would be 1 squared is 1, and 3 ones are 3, over 4 times 1 more is 2, times 1 more again is 3. A, I'll just show the working by saying that's 4, that cancels out 4, so that also comes to a sixth, which means that it's true for n equals 1. Next, assume. Assume it's true for n equals any arbitrary number k. If that's the case, so now we have to write all this out, which would mean that sigma r equals 1 to k of all of this, r plus 2, would equal this with the n's replaced by k's, 3k all over 4 times k plus 1, k plus 2. Call that 1. Remember, you're always going to have to call this inductive hypothesis into play. Next, consider. Consider n equals k plus 1. That means I'm considering this expression then. I've got r equals 1 to k plus 1 of r, r plus 1, r plus 2. Well, that would be the same as the first k terms of all of that, r r plus 1, r plus 2, plus the extra term, where that extra term is this part here, of course, 1 over with k plus 1s. So a k plus 1, a k plus 1, plus 1, a k plus 1, plus 2. And then using 2, that would produce, this part can be replaced by this. So I've got k squared plus 3k, over 4 times k plus 1, k plus 2, plus this term, which is 1 over k plus 1, k plus 2, k plus 3, k plus 2, k plus 3, using 1. It's important to use that part. Back up to the top. Now I've got to rearrange this fraction. Just about all of this can go. I just need all the space now, I think, for the fractional jiggery-pokery. Right, so taking it down to a single fraction, I've got several common factors here. I'll save a bit in the denominator. I'll need a 4, a k plus 1, and a k plus 2 for this fraction, and an additional k plus 3 for this fraction. Then this numerator, k plus 2 plus 3k, will need to get multiplied by another k plus 3 to give it the same denominator as this one. This one's got most of it apart from the 4, so the top of this only needs to get multiplied by 4. Next, there's no common factors here, so I've got no option but just to multiply that lot out. So over the same denominator, I'm already noticing that that denominator is bigger than I need to be. You can spot the extra term. If that's a k plus 1, I should have a 4, a k plus 2, and a k plus 3. So this one's got to go. So whatever I've got on top, there's going to be a common for this, going to be a factor in there of k plus 1. Well, the top part, when I multiply it out, would be k cubed plus 3k squared, and 3k squared is 6k squared plus 9k plus 4. Well, I wasn't able to factorise enough to get it down to the quadratics that you're happy with, but it doesn't matter, I'll just have to do this part at the side. I know what I want to get rid of. I know the k plus 1 is going to cancel out, so I know that that's going to be a factor. So using minus 1, that should work, and then I'll find out what the quadratic I'm left with is. So that's 1, minus 1, 5, minus 5, 4, minus 4. Yep, it worked. So I've got k plus 1 times k squared plus 5k plus 4, all over 4 times k plus 1, k plus 2, k plus 3, that k almost lost its wee kink, 
this will cancel out, leave me with, I'll put the denominator in, 4k plus 2k plus 3, but then I notice that the top part doesn't require to be factorised, which it would do. I presume you could get to that route because glancing at that you can see it's going to be k plus 1 and k plus 4, but the top of this isn't written as a factor, it's written as n squared plus n. That means that instead of that k plus 1, that k squared, I really want a k plus 1 squared. Well, I can easily arrange that. It's just that k plus 1 squared would take up k squared plus 2k plus 1 of what I've got. So that means it leaves, it leaves me another 3k plus 3, which is exactly what I want. But I'll put this in here just to show the working. So 3k plus 3, which means I've now got k plus 1 squared plus 3 times k plus 1, all over 4 times. Rearrange that to make that a k plus 1. So there's still one more left lying about. Rearrange that to make a k plus 1. So still two more left lying about. And then that expression is exactly what I wanted, with the n's replaced by k plus 1's, which means I can make the final statement, blah blah, true for n equals k, meant it was true for n equals k plus 1. And then unfortunately I've just run out of space, I have to ruin the top part now. And then since it was true for n equals 1, that means, by induction, it's true for, done it again, for all n. n, a member of R, no it's not, n, the natural numbers, n greater or equal to 1.